we got in the business of feeding bikers, literally like that. There was no business registration, there was no, uh, no formal business plan, there was nothing. We just cut a 55 gallon drum in half and started coming to these events. We had made a barbecue sauce, that's why we call ourselves Dinosaur Barbecue. This guy said, what, what the hell is this? Why are you calling yourself barbecue? I said, what do you mean? You know, we're grilling this, this steak. He goes, no, man, barbecue's about, you know, long periods of time, slow smoking, you gotta dig a pit. So at that point, what that guy said to me really stuck in my head. Then it was like, I gotta find out what real barbecue was. And the following year, I took my motorcycle and uh, rode to what I thought at that time was uh, the Shangri-La Barbecue in Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, rode the bike down there through Mississippi, um, Virginia, Alabama, Tennessee, all in search of what real barbecue was. We went from bike events to fairs to festivals and decided to open up a restaurant. And uh, we did that in uh, Syracuse, 1988. We're in the bar right now, but it started in the, in the front room. It was a little, you know, about 30 seats. 1988 to 91, I mean, those are some very, very lean times. So, uh, I mean, we could have closed the doors 20, 30 different times during those two years. So when the bar opens, we decide to get into live music. And then at the same time, from the booze to the live music, to the bikers that were here, to regular people starting to come in, it became like this sociological experiment that I don't know if it even existed before this because either it was a biker bar and a place where other people hung out. It became one of the first times bikers and regular people and people from all walks of life started coming together. And all of a sudden everything just everything blew up around that time, around 1992. And then it just became kind of a runaway train at that point. I always wanted to do something different in each location and have each location feel different. Well, the nice thing about adding locations, it becomes another story in the chapter, another brick in the mortar. And as long as they're good, as long as they feel good, the story gets a little bigger and the story gets a little richer. So I, I like adding new locations. It's, it's, it's another adventure. It's another, um, you know, can we pull this off? It's exciting. You just do what you gotta do. And uh, I feel good about what we're doing.